That didn't happen last night. The beer bottle almost bounced out of the container. <laughs> so, the sound of broken glass. It strikes a chord, doesn't it? Whether someone, oh, Bob, hit it. Whether someone breaks a glass, or you get mad and throw a glass, or maybe a server drops a tray at a restaurant and you hear the sound of breaking glass, whatever the circumstance, I'll bet it causes an emotional reaction from you. So, here's something fun to try. Go to a party in the valley and tell people that you work for a local recycler. What do you think the first question out of their mouth will be? Anyone have a guess? Yes. Why don't we recycle glass? So, let's talk about that. Glass is made from silica, the most abundant material in the world. So, to make glass, you mine several additional raw materials and you put them into a heated tank and bake at 3,000 degrees. Now, this is hotter than molten lava. Hey, Dutch mommy said molten lava on stage. Uh, so, there's more to the process of making glass, and you should YouTube that because it's really cool. But you could say that glass comes from nature, right? And if so, why don't we just throw it in the trash and forget about it? It's all natural, and with enough time, it will turn back into sand. So who cares, right? But how does that make you feel? A little uneasy, I'll bet. Why would you throw glass in the trash? It just feels wrong. And for me, every time I do it, I kind of feel like I'm doing something a little illegal. Or at least I did before I started working for We Recycle Montana, home of Four Corners Recycling, Full Circle Recycling, and Full Circle Biofuels, where I have learned lots about glass recycling. So in our local ecosystem, our local ecosystem has a lot of aggregate, or rocks. These rocks can be ground up and used for road base, house foundations, French drains, and a whole lot more. But crushed glass can also be used. So why don't we use it locally? Honestly, it boils down to economics. It is cheaper to use aggregate than it is to use crushed glass. But it can be used. Glass does have a place in the valley, but at a higher cost than what's being used. So recycling glass costs about the same as it does to throw it away. It's an inert item that will turn back into sand with time, through time and compaction. So if there's no hazardous component and no economic gain, it makes glass a really difficult item to recycle. But what about the emotional component of recycling glass? Right? The emotion of wanting to recycle glass is a key factor outside of economics. For many of us, our reaction to the sound of breaking glass is similar to our emotional reaction of throwing it in the trash. Simply put, it does not feel good. But why? Glass is an item we all use. It's an incredibly good container. It keeps your beer cold, and it's usually in great shape even after you've used it. And, well, some of it's really pretty. So when you choose to recycle glass, you are able to reuse material that was already harvested from nature. Versus when you make it from scratch, you need to mine a whole host of raw materials that need to be transported and then melted at very high temperatures, which all require lots of energy. So let's just say you could box up our glass and send it to a place like Momentum Recycling in Salt Lake City, Utah, and get a great freight rate because half of the return trucks to Salt Lake are going back empty, could you recycle glass in our ecosystem? The answer is yes, and we will, beginning mid-May. <laughs> so glass is a flat commodity. There is no real return on it, so this is not a profitable endeavor. Um, but when you compare it to the cost of throwing it away as garbage, the economics are simple. We can charge a nominal fee in order to find a home for it. And we also have another cool way for you to recycle glass. Any beer drinkers in the house? Anyone familiar with the Byron Brewery bottle recycling program? It's really, really cool. So if you drink a bottle of their beer, put the bottles in an eco-pack and take it to a participating, participating location. It gets sent back to Byron, they wash, sterilize, and refill that bottle. Pretty cool. 
Um, and they were the only ones in Montana to put this practice into play, only ones in Montana and one of the a few in the nation to put this rare but historic practice into place. And so I think it's a pretty cool concept to reuse a perfectly good bottle. So contamination can disrupt a perfectly good recycling system. So you want to make sure your glass is free of liquid. Caps, lids, and corks are easy to remove, but the difficult ones are porcelain, ceramics, laminated glass, and mirrored glass. Those, sadly, are trash. Um, volume is key to profitable glass recycling, and Salt Lake City does not produce enough glass. So your juice jar and your wine bottles here in Montana make a very big difference at Momentum. You never know. You might just use fiberglass insulation made from your wine bottle. So I am proud to announce that We Recycle Montana will bring glass recycling to the valley in May. Local entities like the City of Livingston, YNP, J&K, and Gone Green have already been using recycling glass with us, but now it's going to be more readily available for everyone. Recycled glass has lots of applications, but we are really most excited to change your emotional reaction of throwing it away from really not good to, to really great. So remember that glass must be kept separate from other recyclables. It cannot go into commingled or single stream containers. So we are proud to bring, offer this program to our community who has long expressed a desire to have it. And you can either bring your glass out to us, we're just north of Four Corners off Jackrabbit, or you can order curbside service. And if you need crushed glass for a local project, give us a holler. So tell your friends to gather their glass. Go ahead, make glass, we'll recycle it.